This is a piece of soil which is impregnated with a synthetic resin and the structure of the soil is maintained. Uh, if we cut the soil into thin slices, put them under a microscope, we see the whole beauty of the soil. At the moment we are uh, working on the evaluation of soil functions and uh, not just the soil functions who produce biomass and food but uh, also other soil functions which are as well important which is storage uh, of water, filtering water to have clean groundwater, uh, storage of carbon which is at the moment a very important issue in the context of, of climate change uh, as well. Uh, and another important soil function is that soils harbor a huge diversity of uh, biology. So what, what we did uh, previously is to, uh, to develop methods how to describe this complexity of soil. So if you, if you look at soil in its natural structure, it's an absolutely complex uh, object. And this is where we made uh, quite some contributions, how we can condense this complexity to a pretty limited uh, set of uh, quantities which can be measured and which can be interpreted in terms of functions so that we can uh, predict from the structural properties how water is stored, how water is moving, how solutes are moving uh, through soil. Well, in soil science there are quite some uh, difficulties. One important one is that soil is opaque, so we cannot observe processes directly. Uh, but but we do have today methods to make soil transparent uh, by using tomographic uh, methods and this will give us quite some additional insight and will produce progress. The temporal scale is also uh, a problem because we have processes in soil which, are, which happen at very short scale uh, as for example uh, landslides, it happens like this. Uh, on the other hand, there are processes like uh, soil formation, which lasts for hundreds of years. And in between these extremities, there are all, uh, uh, lots of other processes at very different timescales. Mm -hmm.